Ika, Ika, however you pronounce it. You need a bunch of it in Conan Exiles. G'day, I'm Millie Bat. I play a lot of survival games and Conan Exiles being one of my favourite. And today we're talking about some more rare resources that you need for just about everything. It's you, Ika, itself, that's how I say it by the way. Fight me in the comments if you must. You need it for alchemy base, corrupt stone. If you watched my video about how to farm oil good, you need it for oil farming too. And a few other things. There's a bunch of ways to get it. Uh, some being easier than others for sure. And if you're on PvP, a couple of these strats are going to be more applicable to you than say a PvE player because we're often held up in some very inconvenient location. And sometimes you just need like three Ica to make that last little bit of corrupt stone to make your map room so you can even leave the place. And it's a long way to some of these places I'm about to show you to get said Ica as well. I've got a little kill pit so I can show you how to um, get stuff as well by just spawning it in like the few different animals and I'll show you some of the locations and some of those other strats. So stay tuned and um, I'll share with you my vast experience of knowledge on how to scavenge for this resource. One of the easiest ways I find early game because you're killing lots of thralls and they got lots of random stuff in their pockets, loot all that crap because it's going to come in handy for something. You'll see. Especially candles and orbs. Let's get out of this view. Got my little pre-prepared box here. So you'll notice a lot of candles drop and you can either make an excellent candle shrine or get a dismantling bench which I think you have to be level 45 or thereabouts. So save them up, pop them in your bench and one for one they're going to give you some ichor back. Again thralls tend to drop a bunch of these orbs. You can save them up or again put them in the dismantling bench. Now these ones are going to turn into water filled orbs that you then have to place back in here to dismantle again which are going to give you water filled flasks which you can use for potions or whatever or drink the contents and then use them for your like um, sacrificial shrines and whatnot to get your sacrificial blood. If you don't happen to live near Sepamaru or any crystal or any way to get orbs this is a way to get a couple pretty easily. It's also going to give you these other random resources but you need to dismantle the water orb to get the actual ichor. From it. I also like to save my uh, tar orbs for actually increasing damage of my explosions so I don't always dismantle them but and the gas ones you can also use to create an extra boom but I usually just make gas arrows and yeah I don't know if I need ichor more I just dismantle them and get more at a later date because whatever. This is generally a pretty early game strat sometimes when you're just held up in an inconvenient location and need just a few. This is how you can do Alternatively, rotten meat, putrid meat, whatever. There's bunches of it everywhere. You can put it in this dismantling, this fluid press. And because we're paused right now, it's not going to give us anything, but I'm going to talk about this ghoulish humor. If you happen to be playing on Sipta, or if you're lucky enough to get a random drop chance from some event, because I think maybe you might get chances in the future, look out for this stuff. You mostly get it from doing the statues at the Grey Ones pools, um, specifically the ghoul statues. I put it in a floor press and put any type of bone like this in, and I'll press play and we'll see what we get. Like all of the echo. So if you're on Sipta, this is OP as hell. If they ever bring up server transfers again i don't actually know maybe they are well at the recording of this video i'm not sure whether that's happening again or not or already is but keep an eye out for this for sure because it's just amazing way to get it another way which i like less because i believe these resources are more useful in other ways you can squish down all this stuff for a minute amount of ick not really worth it in my opinion but something that you can do also for like then if you happen to have the Zath religion learnt, make a Zath knife. You can skin a bunch of spiders rather than use your pick, which is probably the better way to get Ica from spiders, but I'll show you all that in a minute. Get the Zath knife. If you need a bunch of skulls for sorcery leveling or you're a fan of making Yog feasts for healing and stam regen, this is a pretty good way because it will give you a bunch of Ica in the process as well and some things that you can squish in the squish of some blood and bone. I'm pretty sure you can also put skulls in with the humor. Let's see. Yeah, skulls work as well. So you can squish them down. It's um, not as efficient. Put them in there too and you get some blood and bone and stuff from those guys. But we did get 450 from that random few bags. So that was pretty decent. Now there's a couple of lizards as well that you can get the ichor off. I'm just going to quickly kill them. Use a pick generally. 
Gonna get a bit of them. See, a bit of them. So lizards are a great way to get Ica and where they spawn on Sipta, there's a bunch of different places. At some point I'll do a whole bunch of Sipta guides. I'm sorry folks if you play on their main. I prefer Exiled Lands. Actually I prefer Savage Wilds but that's not an official map. Maybe one day. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe they'll follow suit of Ark and actually do some stuff that people like. Um, yeah, if you come over to this little place over here, it's a great source of these Komodos. There's a few other places as well, but this is one of the easiest ones. You can kill this guy. He's going to usually drop a bit of medium armor. You can tame them as well for an early game brawl. But they kind of tame like a purge level thrall being a skull and they take a long time to knock out, but they're an option. There's generally, unless someone builds here, which people love to build here too, there are generally a bunch of lizards around that you can kill. The babies as well sometimes will give the ick. So hack them up if you see them and if you don't tame baby animals. Again, that place on the map is just here. At around JK5. Alternatively, in N54, there is also a bunch near Dragon's Claw. Where'd you just go, buddy? Oh, there. Just running away from me. So you can find them around here as well. Less people tend to block them, which is kind of nice. And there are a bunch of these reptile abomination rhino things as well, which are a decent source of haunch and reptile hide if you happen to um, hack them up with a skinning knife. Then we also have these fitty bastards, the salamanders, also a great source of volatile glands. Let's kill those guys. Try not to destroy my building in the process. We can get some ichor off of them. Depending on which tool you use, like a butcher's cleaver is more likely to give you the volatile glands, in my opinion. And you can also use a skinning knife and get a small chance of getting ichor and volatile glands and some reptile hide rather than a bunch of bone. But if you live on Sipta, the bone's quite handy, again, for more ichor farming. Some good locations to find them are along the river, around near the claw outcrop, near the arena, and that little passageway there. There's a fair few, and just generally along this river, you can find little pockets of them. Another great spot is over here, by the Bay of Hulks. They get all around. And you can get some gold and silver boxes while you're here. Just over here. Ooh. Didn't even mean to start flying. A fancy. There we go. I must say, creative mode is much handier for filming episodes like this. That's another one. So there's a couple along here. Another one, like, just there, near that boat. Get more sweet ick and volatile glands. Ah, the locusts escaped. So, as shitty as they are to fight, you can get um, those poison glands, like I said, off them. Let's kill everyone. Which you can squish down, or, I don't advise that by the way, use it to actually make poison. It's going to help you on PvE as well, but it's great on PvP. They're going to give you a bunch of other random crap. Oh, the baby was unimpressed with me spawning everyone in. Fair enough. One of the locusts also drops a bit that you need for the jade stone heart for removing your bracelet. Ooh. You're still alive. You must die too. No free locusts. Some of the places that you can find them in the exiled lands around here, which is also where a lightning event spawns, so we might go over there and find that. But by the swamp obelisks, yeah, there we go. This event is happening. I do have a video coming out on this, but let's kill him. You get all messed up by the storm, so this is like maybe one of the harder ones of these headhunter sorcery events. If it's around, might as well do it. You're gonna get messed up by the lightning, just FYI. But usually when that's not happening around the obelisk in the swamp, there's lots of spiders as well, which is my next one that we were gonna show you. And you can use the Zath knife or a pick to get them. But I think that's fairly self-explanatory. I don't really need to show you all spideys. But you can also find a good place to spiders while I'm just here is like here, these caves. I think you'll have just like know where spiders are. The silkwoods over here. But you can also find a bunch of locusts. Just up by the Black Hand pirate ship. Ooh, they're all just like popping in. There's a boss one and it's kind of like nasty if they mess you up, but I like to come through here and harvest some ick and um, dead trees. 
because there's lots of dread trees to be had as well so it's like a nice little oil farm location right here again on the map just in this little cube near the black galleon we used to be able to get a lot of ichor from uh cooking down the unappetizing fish and some of these other guys or the, the shellfish would give ichor as well but now i'll put this on play and we'll say like they don't give anything they're not worth it these guys give you buffs which is kind of cool but they don't stack anymore so you can't see it because i'm in creative mode but one of the last ways that I really know of, there might be a couple of others that I'm not remembering at the moment, but these are kind of the main ways to get it, is the Abyssal Remnant herself. You can squish down her meat for a shitty value. You can also cook it to make a pretty decent heal before you can get some other good heals because she's pretty easy to kill. There's also some slight variations of her, like uh, the Adversary of Amarosh as well, which I'll show you where they spawn. If you don't know where the Abyssal Remnant spawns, they spawn at the Dregs. you got to lure a Defari in, kill them, go do the dungeon. The Amaroth spawn is a little bit rarer, but can be some of the places like usually near the pens and stuff. There's like um, a gas field that has him spawn there sometimes. He'll give uh, Abyssal Flesh as well. And there's also a slug dungeon room in the Dagon dungeon where you can sit there and harvest them till your heart's content. And um, they're little babies. I'm not sure if you can still pick them up and tame them for locust That's babies, but like you, you used to be able to. So that was kind of cool. I should possibly test that out. We might go test that out together. Now it is debatable which perk you want to go for. Harvesting Ica can get kind of heavy, so you probably want to have max encumbrance. But either efficient harvesting, where you get that final hit twice as many resources, like if you're harvesting those slugs in the Dagon dungeon, they only take like one or two hits or something. I think one hit. So if it procs on the Ica, you're going to get a bunch more, but you're also going to get a lot of rotten flesh, which you can bring back and squish in your squisher for a little bit of extra. Or you can go for careful harvest, where you're twice as likely to gather the rare resources. It's possibly the better one if you're like killing spiders and such like that. I mind why, why are you setting my attributes so I just have like one short point if that's why this is happening. Conan, fix your game. Uncom. So if you would be harvesting brimstone in the water, brimstone's another video coming up by the way. Keep your eyes peeled for that. If you have to be harvesting that in the water, having efficient harvester, that one's a great one because it's a one hit resource. Same with things like gold and silver nodes on Zipta, much better. Or like those tiny little any one hit thing, gathering eggs, you know, etc, etc. Then we have Emissary Arboth that I talked about before. Oh, I'm gonna maybe kill him first. Add it myself. Ooh. So in conclusion, there are definitely a few ways to get the Ica. Oh, hey little turtle buddy. But these are the ways that I find the best. If there's other ways, you know, chuck them up in the comment that you know of. But let's rehash through what they were again. You can dismantle the water orbs and candles. Get a decent chunk of Ica that way as well as other orbs, but you have to then re-dismantle them, like I said. Weep. You can squish all this nonsense for not very much Ica. Not really worth it. Don't really advise doing that. Sometimes putrid meat, sure. For a better rate, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before or not, I kind of glossed over it, but you do get Ica from cooking the Abyssal Flesh one for one as well, so fairly decent, and then that gives you a heal, which is an alright heal. And then if you happen to be on Zipta or happen to get some ghoulish humor, you can get your bones and stuff to turn into much Ica. This is the best way by far, as well as harvesting all those different animals, namely lizards, spiders, and little wormy grub things, and Abyssal Remnants. And of course, opening Zath bags. Oop, eating corrupting brew. Early game, probably Abyssal Remnants, a fairly decent way to get some Ica. It's an easy place. And there are a lot of those um, Komodos in her actual dungeon as well. So it's probably one of the best Ica farms. Definitely go check out the Abyssal Remnant. If you haven't seen my guide on it, I have a guide on it. So you can check that out. Learn the glowing essence recipe and whatever. But you just come here to Skulker's End. Right in there, kill a Defari. And yeah, check out my full guide for some more in-depth detail on how to run the dungeon. And I hope you guys found this guide informative and helpful if you did please do smash that like and subscribe button maybe even the bell notification so you can hear here see when these actually come out before other people and i'm now at my thousand subscribers so thank you all so much for that that's it's been awesome and i look forward to making lots more content y'all and i'm glad you enjoy it until next time i hope you have an excellent day evening night morning whatever it may be wherever it may be i just punched my microphone have a good one